In Greeley, Colorado, six meatpacking plant employees were remembered at a special memorial on Sunday. We gather here today to pay our respects and to honor our six beloved heroes who died while working to ensure that our communities were fed. They work for the local JBS USA facility. All died of COVID-19. My wife uh, got the uh, COVID. The husband of... 10A. March 22nd was the last day I seen my father. The son of Daniel Avila. I'm a registered nurse. <laughs> and I was there the day we had to shut the vent off my father. And Saul Which Sanchez's daughter all came. There. My father was the heart of our family. Those who live near or work inside this large facility are like family, which is why coronavirus outbreaks here this spring struck home for so many. The numbers are staggering. According to the Midwest Center for Investigative Reporting, there have been more than 25,000 positive cases tied to meatpacking plants across the country. Roughly 280 positive cases at this plant alone. I'm serious. I'm angry and I'm sad at the profound loss that we have had to endure. Kim Cordova, the local union chapter president, is talking about the 95 meatpacking workers who've reportedly died in the U.S. so far. Responding to the slew of cases here, JBS shut its Greeley plant to overhaul safety measures. It now touts its social distancing and staggered shifts, temperature checks and masks, and physical dividers separating employees on the factory floor and in break rooms, as well as constant sanitizing but some say it's not enough. They're gonna have to do some reconstruction in those plants. They're gonna have to slow down the production speeds. Uh, the faster they go, um, the workers will continue to work closer together. Paid sick leave for workers is also critical, Cordova argues. The company can do it. They're just gonna have to um, spend some of their profit to make the changes that are necessary. She says it's an issue with plants across the country. A number of JBS employees remain at home now with ventilator-caused injuries. The device was not enough to save 10A, one of the plant's many Burmese refugees. It is so hard for me to talk about my wonderful mom. I will always remember her, love her, as always, in my heart. Patty Rangel remembers telling her father when he was first hospitalized. Dad, they're going to put you on the ventilator, and uh, after a week or so, you know, you, you probably get better. Go back to work. The job wound up costing him his life. The hope here is that it doesn't cost any more. We have to do something for this uh, problem. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Greeley, Colorado. Mm.